that's our steel height there which is gauge and then we've got to get the laser I've set the laser up so we spin it round plus the 37 that's 2025 need to write that down and the plate And good morning. It's already uh, bright and sunny, but we're here. Well, I'm here. Dad has uh, left me again, so, you know. And I'm used to it at this point. We've done that many jobs where he's left. But um, he's getting the van serviced today, so he's uh, let off this time. While he's gone to do that, I'm gonna get set up. So, we've got the boards down, so we can walk over the slab. There it is. Very nice. Still a bit green though, so that's why I've put the uh, boards down. Um, I'm going to load out this side. Other side is already loaded. Did that yesterday, so we can we can get another two courses from here on the outside. So is that a moon pig? I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, I'll get the inside loaded out now, and uh, I think get those block papers moved. Customers uh, told us where they want them, and yeah, just get basically just get as set up as I can. So I'll set you up while I do that, and um, I'll uh, get back to you when Dad gets here. Right, it's windy, but hopefully you're getting my voice because I've got this on. He's back. Hey? He's back. He's back and he's been busy. Spent a good hour, at least an hour, probably over an hour, getting all the cuts done. With my thick hoodie on my pants, bloody sweating to death. But um, there's our leftover blocks. And they're going to be the top course over the top of the steel and along there, which will be cut down to roughly 150. I'll show you what we're going to be cut down to. <laughs> That's our steel height there, which is gauge, and then we've got to get from that point up to that piece of red fascia, and then get that round. Don't think there's anything in the back, but we'll have to find that one out and check with Robbie's. And actually, probably will be one in the back on the back skin, but we'll see. If so, probably haven't got enough. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Uh, yeah, we'll see anyway. We might need a few more blocks, but we'll come to that. We'll come to that next week when we're back. So, all the cuts are done. Everything's done. All the internal cuts, up the uh, they've had to be cut down on the internal skin to make them work gauge because the back skin's been lifted. We've chopped 35 mil off that, so it levels everything back up for the tie wires. All loaded out. So yeah, we're all ready to get going now. So it was a big push today, and then we're moving off this today onto um, a new job for Vic, which we'll be on till we've finished it, and then we'll be back on this next week. I think steel's coming Monday, it's currently Thursday. So time to get the trowel out. Well, get the pants off and get the sun cream on, and then um, get cracking. So we'll put you somewhere out of the way, and we'll get going.
right, we're in the afternoon now, we've had lunch. Alex has just dropped the line, he's going to start running this pillar in. So we need to get this pillar up, we need to get to Padstone Heights. I'm at Padstone Height now. So, the laser, I've set the laser up. We spin it round. Just catch it there. I hope you can catch it. Catch it easy there. So that, when it shines on our mark up there, that's our datum. So our laser is currently 37 millimeters below that mark. So what I've done is just put you somewhere. Took this measurement. So, plus the thirty seven, that's two zero two five. Need to write that down. And plate. That's our steel height, so that's bottom pad stone. So I need to get a few cuts done to get these pad stones sorted. It's a bit unfortunate because the pad stone's going to sit on that half. That's a bummer. Hmm. We'll sort something out. We'll make it work. <clears throat> So the pastos need cutting and we need a few cuts doing as well. And then if we go around here, project that laser onto there. There's our laser line, there's our 37mm above, and I'm gauged up at 230, so it's a nice big bed to the top cut top lot. <coughs> so everything's working so so far. <coughs> We've got a load of 100 left over, so we're using that with another 50. It's it's all 0.32, so we're just using it to make the 150 up. There's a 150 piece and we just mix and match it. Get rid of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's 100 in there. Can you, can you come here a sec? With the camera. Yeah. <coughs> What's that? I don't know. They just showed up in my wall. Alright. I like them. Should we put them in the wall all over the place? They look, they make a pretty pattern then. Let's give them a try. Right, um, yeah, I'll put you on Alex a little bit while I get over here so I can get some cuts done. Get covered in dust.
Well, it's turned into a sluggish afternoon, but we're definitely making progress. The front is steel ready. So that's the main thing done. And we got quite a bit of mortar left over, so Dad's gonna get some of that used up. Yeah, Sarah's coming in a minute to pick Dad up, to pick the van up, Vad, the van up. Uh, so I'm just trying my best to tidy everything up because everything's got to go to this next job, which is frustrating, but I've just got to do it. So yeah, I'll, I'll throw you on to Dad, and I'll just uh, keep trying to tidy up this chaos. Six o'clock. That was expected. <laughs> but we've got three. We've three. We've got um, both sides up to steel height. So when we come, when we do eventually come back here, we're ready to just plunk that steel on and get this finished. Yeah. It's um. Apart from that course on the back here, and the uh, it's cuts. I think it's wrong. Skin, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Yeah, but that is that's us done here for a few days. So next time you see us in the next part of this, we'll be uh, whenever we come back. So. Transition all this onto the grass. Steve, we have to run on the grass. Transition, that's a big word for you. Oh, well, I learnt that last right. night. <laughs> Yeah. 
know if we um we just keep going. Yeah. Are you all going that way, Rob? We're going this way. Just thinking, if you get the wheels further back under the steel, you've got more manoeuvrability, haven't you? Ready? Be in trouble and get up on this board, I'll sort of suit them. Well, that is, I promise you that it's heavier than it looks. It does not look like much, but it's really thick steel. So that is, that was a uh, tough. That's it's about six, seven mil box section that, and it's six before onto it, eight mil plates, which is 340 deep, because it's a six inch cavity. So the plate's deep and that's, that is, that is a lump. But that's the steel that you needed for this roof, the Robbie, so you can tell it's hot too because my forehead's out. But there you go, that's been the start of the day. Get that steel up. And we could have we could have got a gene lift, yes, before everyone starts talking about gene lifts, but that took us half an hour. Bit by bit. We're a bit traumatised after our last gene lift uh, attempt as well. Yeah. Bloody three hours. The last one we did, we, we tried to get a gene lift and we couldn't get hold of a gene lift. This one, we didn't bother I must admit that we didn't think we needed a gene lift with it being a smaller steel, we thought it would be a lot lighter than this. So a gene lift would have been helpful, but we managed anyway. We, we've, we've got our technique that we do now, so we're good at, we're good at getting these things up. It, we're not in the business of rushing things up, we just take our time and get up. It's plenty of time. So saying that though, now we've got to try and lift that up again and bed it on because... That, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. and I think the task is we get that side leveled up to the steel and there's going to be a piece on top to go where's, it, where's that going up to the piece just up to the um the, the red fascia board yeah yeah so the, so the piece is going level with that and then the back 
is being leveled with the back of the box section. So this time we've got a full block to go on yet. So we may need to, we may need to do a fairwood run just to grab a few more blocks, and then I think whenever it is we finish that, we're gonna hop on that drain. Yes. Got our equipment, our material. Have you got the lubricant? Yes. I'm good. So that's the plan. But now we're gonna have a break because it is about twenty past nine, and uh, I've worked up a, a thirst. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get you set up properly after breaking, and we'll get cracking. Right. Trying to get organised now. I've got ready to do the cuts, which will be doing, happening shortly. Can't put sun cream on yet because if I put sun cream on, I'm just going to end up covered in dust. So that's got to wait till the cuts are done. So we've got full course put around the inside, full course put around the outside, and then a, a full course around the whole thing of cuts, except with the steelers, of course. We're cutting up to the steel, both sides. And currently got the laser level set up. In nice level position, stuck to this. So as you can see, the laser's set to the underside of this fascia board. That's our height for our block work. We've got to touch, come, in, come in under here like this. You see, it's just, just shining on the top of the fascia board there. So, that's our datum. So now we spin it round and just see it shining on the steel there. And somehow we're going to try and see it over there. So I'm going to have to use the. Uh, it's not a receiver, it's like a target. But it's very hard in this kind of sun. But I'm not complaining about the sun. I'll be cutting all them, mate. Just stick them all there. Well, There's a lot of cuts. Them, yeah, a lot of cuts. I think it's only. Ten full block and the rest are cut. Yeah. Oh, God, it's hot. Yeah. I'm just saying we're getting the levels round now. So. Are we? That's set now. That is the underside of the fascia board, so we're going to need to mark it up here. So we just need a pencil, and we've got one. Yes. And a tape measure, please, mate. Uh, where's the other, where's the other one? Is there up here still? So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So what we do here is. See if we can find his laser. Um, that's concerning. What? We don't. They're in there somewhere, there's two. I can see the laser level there. Um oh. That needs to spin around a bit for that. So this one, if I do that, there you go. 365 millimeters. Just see that on the tape. 365. And we go to the outside skin. Yeah, 365. So Al, 365. Take these two back. You should have enough full block in there. Right, Al? Yeah. Can you just spin that laser to that corner, please? That, uh, the... Yeah. Uh, you should have enough full block there now. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Not far, not that far. That's it. There we go. I might just make it out of my hand there. So this fascia board's lower than the other one, so we're gonna have to get the multi tool out of here. That's where we're going to. There's our that's our laser line. So obviously that needs cutting out of the fascia board with the multi tool for that. So you can get on there. And that measurement is, there we go, 140. So that cuts to 130. Cool. That's a 130. Cut for the internal. And the external is, I 
370. So this is this is five and lower this end, so 370 minus 225. 370 minus 225. 10, 25, and then 2, 1, 2. So that's what we're left with. So the cut needs to be 135 on the outside. So that's all our cuts worked out. So we need a load of 130s and a load of 135s. Oh. And then, yeah, that's it. Don't need to check this corner because I've measured that. So I'm going to get down there and get cut in. And Alex is going to load out and get a mix on. I'm trying to mix on down in this corner out of the sun. If once these blocks are out of the way, we can get a mix down there in the corner, away from the sunshine. There we have it. Catch you in a bit. Left me phone in the van in the cool bag. Hey, eh? <laughs> left me phone in the van in the cool bag. Yeah, you did hear that right. It's in the cool bag. It keeps overheating, so I've put it in the cool bag to cool it down. So, talking of cooling down, we're now in the shade. We're in the shade and Alex has finished that end off, all done. So all we've got left to do is come across the steel at the front and put these coupling at the back. Do, do, all the cuts are here done. I was at that, I've been swing cutting for two hours. It felt like two hours. So um, while that's getting the mix in, I'm going to drop all this scaffold and get it all transferred up to here. And then we can get this back on, tidy up whatever we can't, what don't we stay. So yeah, uh, while Alex get that, gets the mix on, I'm going to get this dropped and moved across it here 
and then it's just about a dozen pieces to go in then and that's us leveled up and done um, yeah that's it and we're out of here well we're back here tomorrow for a couple of hours in the morning in the morning to get the gully in the gully's going to stick out the gully's going back in and it's going to stick out into that corner and then the echo can be channeled into the gully and then we're connecting back to the original gully which is down there because if you've watched this little series you'll, you'll remember that that gully was higher than that gully and it didn't travel as far that sort of went across the corner here whereas it's going further now so if we put the gully in with as little falling as possible then the actual echo can go in I know I keep saying echo but that's what it said I've watched the video of the company and they say it's called echo I know everyone's called it echo and Justin Britt calls it eco <laughs> but anyway you can put your echo drains in echo drains in level which is good because you, as they say you can't stack water it'll always find its way away so even if they put a 10 mil fall on it it'll get away but that's the only way we can get um, a downspout in from that end because we're fixed with that point without taking the fence out taking the gully out and digging back down to the um, the soil pipe over there and there's no chamber on it either so so that's it I've got a couple of tubs, well, three tubs of 10 mil limestone for our uh, bit, uh, pipe bedding, pea gravel, whatever you want to call it. So we can backfill that tomorrow. And then there's a bit of a lump here. That lump's going to be dragged down and backfilled over the top. I know, we, I know people say we should have done the drains first, but we would have been stamping all over the drains, so it's not a big deal to do that last. And then we've got all our levels and everything as well. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of pointing to do here. We ran out of mortar before dinner. And there you go, there's the pad stones. Lovely job. Uh, we can get rid of a load of stuff today. If not, we'll take it tomorrow when we're doing that. So back to time lapse, let's get this scaffold shifted. There we have it. What time are we on now? Half three. Uh, now about ten to four. Ten to four. Not bad. It's been a slow day today. I was, I was ready for nodding off at dinner time. It's that hot. Well, as you can see, we're getting the shade in the afternoon. So we're done. Alex did, Alex did that side this morning. After the Robbies had helped us get the steel up. That's a solid lump. That that is heavy, heavy. But that's specified by the structural engineer. We don't just put anything in anymore. We make sure. We've got an engineer's report. It's got, it's got a nice finish on it though. So th this is staying up tonight, but we're going to take this tomorrow. We're just going to put everything else that we can in the van. Like, do you want to start moving stuff? And then um, tomorrow we've got that drain to do and a good tidy up and a good clean up. So um, as usual, a little time lapse of the clean up and um, we'll see you in the morning.
morning. It is like probably near 10 o'clock. <laughs> we've uh, had a bit of a late start because we've not got much to do today. And uh, we have had a fry up Friday. And since we've got here, we've been sorting the van out, getting all the last of the stuff put in. So now we can just get focused on the work. Mix has got the happy stones in for a little last rinse down. And today is get this drain in. So I think it's straightforward, as Dad has been saying, just get it so it goes to here with a good fall. And the Robbies will put the echo drain in, as that's been said a thousand times. I give this a bit a quick scrape back yesterday, so hopefully that'll be at level. Um there's Dad with our big pack out. But yeah. yeah. There's a good look at the at the extension now that it's all emptied out. I always say it, it always looks small when all the stuff's in, but once the uh, once all the stuff comes out, then you see how big it is. And there's a nice heavy steel. So yeah, um, enough waffling on. That's our task. Once um, oh, and Dad is going to the front. Sorry, there's a bit of a, a bit of renderings come off again. So he's just going to point that up now while the sun's on this side. But yeah, that's the task. Let's hope we can get this done nice and quick. Hopefully we'll be able to drop uh, all the trestles off at another job later, so saves us a bit of time next time. I'll get you set up somewhere. I'm keeping the blower. <laughs> it's my air conditioner. But here we go. Gully's in. Yeah? Yeah, well, do yeah. So, where was I? Yeah, Gully's in. Stoned up and backfilled. There's only a small fall on it because, as you can see, it's quite high. So, I think instead of an echo, we're going to see if the Robbies can uh, reroute all the water to go to that corner, which they should be able to do. It's nice and it's just a square to redirect it. Just saves them instead of dropping one there, just bringing it here, just so uh, the echo's not sticking out of the ground. We'll see what they say, they'll, they'll know what to do. But that's that part done, so if you give me a hot second, I'll. Uh, I'll get you an outro. There we have it. So that is this job done. Lovely extension. I cannot tell if you can see because I cannot see anything. The sun's right in my eyes. So <laughs> there we go. One lovely, nice, straightforward extension once that dig from hell was done. The only dig was digging the steel with the only challenging parts. But other than that, this has been a nice one and a nice Nice drainage, so I keep saying so again. But that is another one ticked off. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a like. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you're always notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. Let's bring you in with the force. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with one nice former conservatory now extension and we'll see you in the next video.